Okay, everyone, I'm back, and I added some of the yellow in some of the corners. And so what I'm going to do now is add some of the white over it to kind of push it back into the surface because right now it's just a little bit too uh, vivid and bold and I want to make it look more subtle. So I'm going to add some more white and um, give it another coat and kind of blend everything in. I like to do this to add dimension to the project and to give it some sort of uh, interest where it looks very uh, characteristic of that time period. And as you can see, this is an old piece. So we, we want to make it kind of match with that time period. So let's get back to work. And um, when I'm done, I will show it to you. And all you need for this process is you can get these little uh, small tubes of paint from the different uh, uh, paint stores. These little tester containers are very good to have around. You don't have to replace them as quickly as uh, the little small craft paints. I do use the craft paints, however, for touch-ups. And this is the this one is uh, yellow okra. So uh, I use this, and I always have these on hand for different projects. But for this particular project, I'm using the yellow okra and some white paint. This is regular latex paint. It's good on the wood, so you'll get good coverage. I have a sponge to give me a little uh, technique there, my paper towel, and a paintbrush. So you don't need a lot of materials. It's a very simple project, and you put together your embellishments of what you would like to uh, embellish it with. Because it's country, I'm gonna make this sort of country shabby chic. And I like the blues, but I'm, I think I'll use something else around the edges. I don't think I want to be consistent with the blues because I want it to fit into the decor of the room, which has a lot of white. I will see you in the next tape.